This section talks about staff requirements, selecting testing staff. The test coordinator is responsible for selecting testing staff. Who may act as testing staff? The test coordinator is responsible for identifying people of integrity when selecting their testing staff. Room supervisors, the technical coordinator, and proctors may be current or retired faculty members, school administrative or clerical employees, substitute teachers, student teachers, or paraprofessionals. All testing staff are required to administer and supervise the test in a non-discriminatory manner and in accordance with all applicable laws. Who may not act as test testing staff? High school students, volunteers, and lower division undergraduates. Anyone who intends to take the same test within the next 12 months. Anyone involved in test preparation activities for the same test at any time during the current testing year, September 1st through August 31st. Note, ACT recognizes that the normal duties of a counselor or teacher may involve some responsibilities for test preparation, such as ACT prep course. These activities are not a conflict of interest, provided they are part of job responsibilities specifically defined by one's employer and the employer is not a commercial enterprise. Relatives. To protect you and your relatives or wards from allegations of impropri impropriety, if any relative or ward will test at your test site or any school in your state on the same test date, you may not serve as test coordinator or substitute test coordinator for the administration of the test that day. You must delegate all supervisory responsibilities for that date, including the receipt and return of test materials to a qualified colleague. You may not have access to the secure test materials before or after the test day or window. You may serve as room supervisor or proctor, provided that the examinee is not assigned to the test uh, to test in a room where you are working. You must not have access to any of the examinee's test materials. Relatives and wards include children, stepchildren, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, siblings, and siblings, in-laws, spouses, and persons under your guardianship. Scores for an examinee will be canceled if any of these policies are violated. Athletic Coaches ACT has provided assurances to the National Collegiate Athletic Association, NCAA, that scores achieved through all ACT testing programs are comparable. Scores are used in determining Division I and Division II NCAA initial eligibility. To protect athletic coaches and student athletes from the appearance of a conflict of interest, an athletic coach may not serve as test coordinator may not have access to secure test materials before or after testing, may serve as a room supervisor, but not supervise one-to-one -one testing for a student athlete. The policy applies to any head or assistant coach of any high school or college athletics, whether or not the sport is in session at the time of testing. Attentiveness. Staff must remain attentive to their testing responsibilities throughout the administration. Reading, except the manuals or supplements, grading papers, using a computer, cell phone, recording or media device, talking casually with other staff, or engaging in, an, in any activity in the test room not directly related to the administration is not allowed. Testing staff list. Test coordinators complete testing staff list, including the back of this manual, for each test date 
listing all personnel involved in administering the test, including anyone assisting with materials or security. Staff compensation. ACT does not compensate testing staff for administering state testing or district testing. User accounts. Staff, excluding proctors not serving as room supervisors, need to have user accounts set up in Pearson Access Next before test date. The test coordinator must create these accounts for the technical coordinator and all room supervisors. This will complete the section on staff requirements.